everyone. Welcome to the magazine show. I'm your host, Mia Ray. So today we have a jam-packed show. We've got four talented guests. We have King Kamputu, we have the Mola Davis, we have Mula, and we also have Ida Hams. Today is going to be an amazing show. I can't wait to talk to all of these amazing, amazing creatives. And make sure you send this YouTube link to all your family and friends. It's going to be an amazing show, as I just said. But yeah, before we kick off the show, we're going to interview. I'm going to interview King Kamputu first. But before we kick off the first interview, and um, we're going to go straight into a song called "Kingdom Come" by B Red. So stay tuned. <laughs> Is be right in the building. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I said, who is in the garden? Hey, hey. A very fine girl. Can I come and see ya? Hey. Hey. See this girl with Biggie back up. Uh, relax, oh. Uh, mm. Money day for Banco. Uh, and the daddy bag, oh. Uh, Sure. Oh, no. So 
Avite se Ui sindigadi A very fine game Can I come and see ya Be red Ave give me code Give me code So that track was Be Red Kingdom Come. What a tune. I really like that. Make sure you check it out. So yeah, welcome to the magazine show. I am your host today, Nire. We've got a jam-packed show. We've got four amazing guests. We have King Kamputu, we have Damola Davis, we have Mula, and we also have Ida Ham. So we're going to get straight into the interviews. And the first person on the show today is King King Putu. I'm so hello, 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 hello. Hello, hello, hello. How are you? I'm excellent. Thank you so, so much for having me on your show. I'm really, really, really pleased. Oh, wow. You're very welcome. I can see you had energy from the morning. We love that. We love the energy. We love it. Uh, listen, have to, I had winter bits. Okay, energy. We give the energy. Yep, yeah? no wonder. <laughs> Now, great. Thanks for reposting the show and keeping sharing you on live this morning, which is amazing. I'm so excited to talk to you. Um, but yeah, let's get straight into it. So, King Kamputu, is that how you pronounce your name, yeah? Well, in English accent, yes. But in um, my accent, Kimputu. <laughs> You're Congolese, Monamboka. I'm Congolese as well. Okay, okay, that's cool. So, for those that do not know who, what you do or who you are, would you like to announce that? Yes, I am King Kimputu, producer, songwriter, studio engineer, composer, and arranger. And I do loads of other things, but this is my craft as it, as of now. Amazing, amazing. You do so much things, you do so much things. So let's talk about where it started. Where did the music start, the producing? I want to know, I want to know everything. Let's, let's take it back a few years. Right. If uh, if I can tell you the whole story, we'll be here forever. But uh, short, uh, cut the long story short. I, as a child, I love making noise. I love making noise. You know, we'll be chilling with friends, and I'll just be tapping on the, on the table, making some random noise. And then you get odd friends like, "Hey, shut up, bro!" And then I'll be quiet. A few minutes later, back onto it again. So obviously yeah. at the time I didn't know that that was my passion of what I wanted to do, but I just love making noise. And then um, growing up as well, when I'll be doing chores around the house, I'll be singing, have my earphones in, and just be jamming to stuff. And um, of course, due to um, my background, our parents um, expect us to be something uh, a little bit better than the musicians, if I may say, uh, in that yeah. respect. Um, so I didn't really pay too much attention in regards to my gifts as a musician. Um, yeah. So I um, left my parents' house due to stuff that had happened, um, went into social services. Um, and at th in those times, they were my, literally my darkest hours, my darkest moments. And yeah. music itself was like my get-to, was like my yeah. escape. Yeah. yeah, it was my escape. So... Um, I just used to listen to loads of music. So it was literally like grand type of stuff to reflect my emotions at the time. I was a really yeah. angry child. And then one day um, I was literally, it was my birthday actually, I remember this day pretty, pretty well. And um, I came downstairs. This was when I was in social services. My um, e-worker at the time, she, she, she saw me, I was feeling a little bit down and upset. So she called me, she said, sit down. Um, she started asking me, like, what's the matter? Can you talk to me? You can talk to me. You can trust me. I was a really reserved child. Yeah. And then she said, um, um, she didn't really get much out of me. She said, let's go for a ride. So we went for a ride. She kept trying to get things out of me. But then um, we stopped at one store. I think it was WH Smith. And yeah. she, bought, um, she bought me a notepad and a pen. So then she said to me, from now on, you don't need to tell me anything at all. You don't have to tell anybody anything what's going on in there. But what I would like for you to do is to record all of your thoughts, all of your feelings into this notepad. And okay. do me a favor from this notepad, turn every thoughts, every feelings into a song. So that's how I got into songwriting. Um, a few years down the line, I started attending youth groups and doing loads of music projects, got involved, and I really enjoyed it. And I remember doing my first show, which was a... Hornchurch Queen's Theatre. Um, 
jumped on stage and the crowd was really receptive and it was so nice and the reception that I got was like, wow, I can really get used to this. Yeah. So I went deeper into writing as well to master my craft, but then it was a little bit difficult to get like um, instrumentals, which I, I could have rights to and all this kind of stuff. And obviously as a beginner, nobody really wants to work with somebody who doesn't have a name or somebody who can bring them clients or something like that. So it was really difficult for me to get instrumentals per se. So yeah. my friend um, had Fruit Loops on his, on his computer. <laughs> so okay. I, I started playing around in, on the Fruit Loops and yeah. I started up making loads of, like, you know, just continuous sound. Like, so yeah. from there, I started learning, learning, learning. And I went to college. Um, just to learn a bit more about the productions and yeah that's how I got into music wow okay so it's basically been a, a journey that you've been through and mm. you've, done, you've done amazing so even like talking about your upcoming project you've got your first debut EP coming out very soon which is very, amazing very soon. the journey from not being able to talk to the care worker now writing stuff down and now you're releasing a, a new project soon so tell us a little bit about that and do you have a date for it as well so in regards to the dates, we haven't pinpoint. When I say we, it's me and my wife that's doing everything. Oh, okay. um, we haven't pinpointed the dates yet. Um, but hopefully within the next four to six weeks, we'll be ready to release it. The EP is called Deja Vu. Initially, it was meant to be called Sweet Melody. But because of what we have planned, I cannot reveal it just now until the EP is okay. out. We have to okay. change the name to Deja Vu. So it's going to, uh, it's a multi-genre EP. So we've got Afro beats on there. We've got hip hop. We've got uh, even a bit of gospel mixed with hip hop. We've got rock in there as well. So yeah, this is the EP day of the, everything was done in house, produced by myself, and also had help from uh, Edgaris, Andrew, um, Cinco Beats, um, Chase. There's a lot of people behind just making sure that this project goes uh, moves forward. But I would ask you to just look out for it. Yeah, this is my daily EP, and I hope you like it. Definitely. Okay, that's amazing. We'll definitely look out for it. I know that on your Instagram, you had like, a snippet of a video that's going to be released April the 10th. Is that going to be yes. a part of the EP? Yeah, I saw that. I really no, like that. Oh, yeah. man. Oh, that song. Virtuous Woman. So this song was initially released, like, five years ago i think okay. but we didn't release it properly yeah it was through a youth group it was through a youth group so we released it before and uh, we didn't really get far things happened they took the video down so now i've decided to re-release it the song is called virtuous woman is coming out on april the 10th so basically the song is about motivating people to um find somebody who's compatible because for me i believe that um, whoever you're with, whether uh, whether your your husband or wife, um, they really determine how far you're gonna go or where you're gonna go in life. So, um, virtuous woman is basically bigging up those women who stand by their women, um, uh, by their women. Excuse me, pardon. Who stand by the, their partners, um, their spouses, and um, is basically motivating and influencing others. Like, as, if you can, if you look at the industry now, um there tends to be a little bit of a um, mix up in regards to relationships and people when yeah. they follow these kind of relationship things do go wrong. So my mission is to kind of bring something a little bit new, um, something that the youngsters can relate to or aspire to yeah. and to be influenced by. So Virtuous Woman is literally that. Okay, that's amazing. I really can't wait for it to come out. I saw the snip on it. Uh, I really love it. You're going but to yeah, love it. That's amazing. So we've run out of time. We're just going to round it up quickly. I want you to, I know, I know, I know it's a jam-packed show today. Um, but yeah, we want to hear your song. So uh, would you like to introduce your music video that the viewers are going to listen to? Yes. Ladies and gentlemen. I'm joking. So this is my um, baby uh, single, which is called Dear Doné, which is actually my name, um, yeah. Dear Doné. So um, this song is um, produced by myself. Again, I'm all, I tend to lean towards love because I believe love is the most powerful emotion on alive on earth. Because yeah. with it, a life can be saved or a life can also be um, transformed. Do you get me? So um, this is about love, bigging up my woman, you know, showing her that regardless of what you've been through, and obviously you have people who 
tend to bring false intentions with you, but I am a little bit different to those people. So this yeah. is dear Godwin. Enjoy. Listen thank you carefully. So much. Okay, yeah, thank well, you so much. Guys, enjoy the video. Dear Donet. Dear Donet. He has the thing on luck. Dear Donet. He has the lean and buck. Dear Donet. He doesn't window shop. Dear Donet. He makes your heart go pop. A man like me by your side Before me didn't know what true love meant Ain't she glad that we gave it a try Understand that I'm just another human I make mistakes but I really do try I'm really the most there's no reason to pretend I'm not out help baby I'll take care of her And I know we shouldn't come with a price But I got change And I'm gonna spend it all on Sound of the game, I'm repeating till four. That's the sound when we play. Jedone, Jedone, got you saying my name. Say it again, say it again. I come and give me some brain. She gave me brain. Did you know that she's intelligent? I fell in love with the dark skin melanin. I was lost, sick. She became my medicine. She had me scared, but I'm darker than Maleficent. Show me a man that can do like I do. None of them, cause they don't understand you. Like I do. Shame on them if they didn't see your body. We so much as yes, I am your superman. You can call me dead on me. Only for you, baby, I'll catch a creep tonight. Whenever you need, just call my name. Let her roll up your tongue with an accent D-I-E-U-D-O-N-N-E What does it mean? Given by God Sing it! He has the ting on luck He has the lean and buck He doesn't window shop He makes your heart go pop When you say my name with an accent, let her roll up your tongue with an accent. D I E G D O L N E. What does it mean? Given by God, sing it. So that was King Kimputu with Dear Donny. Make sure you watch that video. Thank you so much for coming on the show. I um, had a great chat with you. We just have to round it up. But yeah, that was an amazing song. Check it out. So next up, we have Demola Davis. He's in the building. Hello. Hi. Okay. I can't hear you. Hi, can you hear me? Yeah, I think you're on mute. I can't hear you. Sorry, guys, we're having some technical issues. You know, I can't hear you from from your side. 
Yeah, sorry guys, we had some technical difficulties. But yeah, welcome to the magazine show. I'm your host, Nire. We have a jam-packed show. So we just had King Kimputu. We have Damola Davis next. And then we have Mula, also known as Hayley Melinda. And we also have Ida Hams. So yeah, we're just having a bit of technical um, technical issues, which always happens. But I hope you're doing well. Make sure you send this clip, this link to all your family and friends for them to, to listen. And um, But yeah, okay, he's back. Okay, yeah, I can hear you now. Yeah, can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? Yeah, 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 yeah much better. Hello, Damola perfect, Davis. Perfect. How are you doing? How are you doing? I'm fine, thank you. I'm fine, thank you. Yeah, how good. are you? I'm good. You remember me? Oh, oh, come on. <laughs> of yeah, course, of course. We, had, we, had a, we had a fun time. Yeah, Instagram so for those that don't know, we yeah. had a, um, it was on my show, on my Instagram uh, a few weeks ago, and yeah, we had a chat. So yeah. now you're back, um, but this time yeah. you're in Nigeria and you've released a new song, so you've got a lot to catch up on, don't we? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah okay, let's get straight into it. So, um, so you live in London. But obviously, you were living in Nigeria before, then you came to London. So, are you back in Nigeria for holiday, or are you living there? Are you, did you move back? No, I actually came to Nigeria. I was, I, I was, I just came for a week, to be honest, to just sort a few things out, like you know, music, music okay. wise. Um, yeah. yeah. So it's, it's been really fun down here. You know, the weather is nice. It's, um, very hot. Um, <laughs> so yeah, so it's, it's been that's fun nice. right down here. Exciting. That's nice. Okay, that's great. Let's jump into your new single. Let's talk about dinner. So I know you released a music video um, was it yesterday, you said, yeah? Um, yeah. And yeah, yes, let's yes. talk a bit about it and what, what it's about and stuff, because I've watched it. I'm impressed. I like it. I like it. I like it a lot. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So to be honest, when I recorded when I recorded dinner, um, uh, dinner was was basically just a... Because I, I I call myself the I call myself the Godzilla, right? I'm Godzilla. So I was trying to just say like, oh, I'm a, I'm a, I'm just I was trying to woo woo a lady like, oh, that I'm the I'm a boss that you know, although even though I'm a boss, um, you're basically my weakness, and that's the whole point of dinner. Like I want to have you for my dinner, so that's the whole point of it. But I think the when I came to when I appeared with Mo Will, uh, we were featured on the song and the yeah. video director. We came with we came up with this concept, this Hollywood style concept of the video, which was which was a metaphorical um, take on, on you know, on on um, someone that's hard hearted having a weakness, yeah. and that's the whole point of that's the whole point of dinner. And you have to to be honest, you can't you have to enjoy the full experience. You can't just listen to the um, the audio. You also have to watch yeah. the video to get the full experience and to understand what it's all about. So I think that's that's how that's what makes dinner very special. And I'm really, you know, I'm really proud of that project. And yeah, it's, it's a really amazing no, project. So yeah. guys, if you haven't seen dinner, make sure you watch it. It's out now on YouTube and it's an amazing video. You should be really proud of yourself. Um, but yeah, you. just to take it back a little bit. So you're now a solo artist, but before you were in a group. Um, yep. So yeah, tell us a little bit about that, why you left and how it is being a solo artist. Yeah, so... um. To so when I was, first of all, when I was um, back, is I was born here, I was born in London, um, but I went back to Nigeria for my secondary school. So in secondary yeah. school, I wasn't really, before I left, I wasn't really into music. I just used to sing out in the choir, all these sort of things. But when I went to Nigeria, I was influenced by, you know, a lot of people and I got into a, mu a musical group. And, and but I had to leave after my, my, my secondary school exams. And then yeah. I came to the UK. So I was, I was solo at that point. But then I joined another. I joined another group, um, yeah. which was um, called um, SMC, and then yeah. I, I we we kind of we kind of like decided to split. And I was in a duo with Moil. So Moil um, that I featured on dinner. We were, um, fun fact is that we we're actually we we're actually a duo um, called Two Bada. Okay. Um, so, but I think we didn't. It wasn't a case where we where we split or had a fight because Moil is he's my business partner. He's my friend, okay. my mentor. So we, we built. We, yeah, we just decided to like explore, you know, e explore on, um, you know, yeah. individual, individually, like just explore our artistic um side individually, and we still work together. Like he features me on songs, I feature him on songs, yeah. and we just keep that relationship going, that musical relationship going, as well as the personal relationship. So that's that's um. So to being a solo artist for me is more of you know finding myself and you know, and I, and I'm loving the journey so far because it's been a it's been a journey. It's been you know. It's yeah. been 10 years going, like, you know, when I, that's 10 years from the time I started 
they decided, wow. decided to start recording. So, um, yeah. yeah, so it's, it's been a fun, it's been a fun journey. That's good, that's good. So I know that you released an EP last year called Flavours, um, so in 2020. Yep. So um, how has it been, like, seeing your work being played on, like, radio stations and the growth? How did you feel, like, this EP done? Uh, to be honest, I, I, I've, you know, I'm still, like, I'm still grateful to everyone streaming um, my EP. I'm, I'm grateful to yeah. all the all the you know presenters all the other the tastemakers the radio stations the tvs you know airing my videos and play my music yeah. because to be honest uh, when i look back at you know a few years when I, I i was doing music but i wasn't essentially i was just releasing music but i wasn't um taking it serious as yeah. you know, as most people would so when i started to take music seriously and i started to see the results my ep for example you know you know it gets in the 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 attention that I wanted, I I was so you know I was so very, I was very grateful, and I think that get, that was a thrill for me to actually just keep keep on going, keep on going, keep on pushing music out there, and 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 that's why if you see like uh, my last project um, Oshomo was dropped in yeah. um, January, and I and now I've dropped Dinner, which which is March. So because of that, I've, I've, because of the reception I've gotten and the the support I'm getting, I just want to be as consistent as possible, and you know yeah, feed feed my fans and feed people good music. Yeah, so, yeah it's been yeah, amazing. You've, you've been very consistent. Um, keep it up. We're yeah. waiting for some new music. But yeah, it was amazing yeah. talking to you. Would you like to um announce the song that we're gonna play, please? Yes. Yeah, so this is this is dinner playing. This is a story of a kingpin, hard-hearted, <laughs> but yeah, he's he's got a weakness. He's got a weakness. He loves to eat dinner, so he loves okay. dinner. So dinner is his weakness. So. Enjoy this video, guys, right. on Ben TV, and check me out on all social media platforms. Let's get this going. Love you all. all right. Thank you. Bye. Yes, bye. Everything looks so right 
This your body so tight It blow my heart, blow my mind Oh so sweet, oh so nice This your spice, give me life Everything feels so right Blow my heart, blow my mind Girl, you the blow my mind Everything looks so tight And everything tastes so nice I can't get enough of your love Cause you got them fine Then you nigga try to take what's mine I'll hit that maga on sight All this for your love Come be my dinner Come roll with the true Godzilla I go take you for a ride in my bima Make you follow me chop la vida La vida Come be my dinner Now you I want to chop for my dinner I hope say for my you will consider Make you follow me chop la vida La vida Still beat mix. Welcome back to the magazine show. I'm your host, Nia Ray. So I just played Dinner Out by the Mola Davis and I just had an amazing chat with him, which is so good. Make sure you check out the video. It came out yesterday. But yeah, let's carry on with the show. So next up, I have Hayley Melinda, aka Mula. Um, I'm so excited to talk to her, to talk about her new, new track. Um, yeah, so here she is. Hey, thank Hello. you for having me. I'm so excited to chop it up with you. I'm so excited to speak to you. How are you doing? I'm good, sis. How are you doing? I'm amazing. I'm amazing. I'm I'm, I'm happy to talk to you because you've prosper everywhere. Everyone's talking about it. You've you've done you've done so good. So I'm proud of oh, you. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that, man. It it literally is. I literally have to just say God, but um, honestly, I feel like it's literally having people who also support you like genuinely like I think that's definitely been the thing that has been quite overwhelming but I'm so happy to know that you know I'm getting good yeah. feedback <laughs> yeah let me, let me give you accolades so you're international public speaker writer author and also artist yeah okay? yeah <laughs> like to give you accolades you know but yeah let, let's talk about um February 26th that's the day you released, you released Prosper. How was the feeling when you released it? Oh my gosh, it was so nerve wracking. I think it's because of the fact that it's the first time that, you know, people are actually going to be able to see um, my music, my music journey. That's where people are actually going to really be able to, how to explain it, um, hear, hear me, but hear me in a different sound. Because as I said, with public speaking, I've been speaking for about like what? eight years so with doing speaking and now shifting to music people are so used to see me in corporate people are so used to see me in suits people are so used to seeing serious serious Haley girl so obviously I come out with a complete different side of me basically my inside yeah. I'm speaking slang I'm you know showing people I'm from ends and showing people that I'm about it and mm. I definitely know it threw people off but not off in terms of like they'll put off it's just kind of like raw I didn't see that coming but I think the people who know me know what I'm about and they know that I'm very much kind of like serious about my grind and serious about my team yeah okay that's amazing because I know that you tweeted um just after the release that you sh you're glad that you didn't listen to people because you thought that they said that um it was going to confuse your clients but your clients are yeah. actually listening to you which is amazing yeah, like I had some people actually that did say that, you know, this might actually hinder your speaking career. And, you know, you might have some people who are going to come be like, yeah, like, why did you release this music? Like, it's not that professional. But one of the things that I'm encouraging people to do is pursue the things you love. Like, life is so short. And I think that's the reason why I even pursued music in the first place. Like, life is very, very short. And at the end of the day, like, you just don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. And I just don't want it to be a thing where I always say, like, I want to go back to my creator empty. Like, I don't want it to be a thing that there's any gift in me, any talent in me, that there's anything yeah. left in me because the richest place not to be so um depressing but the richest place in the world is the graveyard um yeah. and I honestly have just said like god when I when it's my time to go back god god willing I go back at like 100 or something but when it is my time to go back let me go back empty let me go back finished so that's how I thought you know what I've been singing for literally since I've been like five I've been rapping since probably I've been about eight so mm. I just thought let me let me let me just release it man why not life's too short no that's amazing because that's, that's amazing because there's an amazing video, amazing song. You surprised everyone. But I feel like <laughs> I first followed you when, I think it was at the start of quarantine, you released like a, you just like messing around, you were rapping. I said, girl, this girl's hard. Like, you know, a female is saying, go girl. I know, yeah, I know that's my best friend. <laughs> watching. But so yeah, Prosper, you charted top five on the rap charts on the day of release. That is Yeah. Like, 
How was that? that? Was- that was mad because I didn't even see that one coming. I remember literally calling um, my my partner and I literally called him with tears in my eyes. And he's like, what's up? What's, wrong? what's happening? What's happening? And I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying. And he's like, what? And I'm like, we're trying, we're trying. And I was, I was literally like, we're trying, we're trying. We tried. And I was looking a yeah. hot mess. Like I literally had, because I remember it was like 10 o'clock in the morning. It was quite yeah. early. So it was like yeah. 10 o'clock in the morning and um, there was still so many things for me to get done because the music video was dropping at 6 p.m. So yeah. it was one of them ones where I was just so um, focused on the music video coming out. And obviously there were certain things that we need to sort out because obviously people didn't know that we had the premiere of Complex. So we're going yeah. back and forth with Complex. Like we had a lot of back and back and forth behind the scenes, certain things were happening. So when I was calling him, I was just like literally in my head tire, like my lashes were all over the place. Like uh-huh. I was just like, yo, like we have charted and I remember it just being like a very surreal moment but a very God moment it was very much like a wow like where God gives vision he gives provision that's the best way I can say it like yeah. that's yeah so I'll just kind of like raw like this is actually a real thing but yeah I was very very touched that's amazing nah. I mean really it's inspiring it's amazing you dropped it and it's done amazing that numbers as well which is which is great also but that's good. Um, I just want to say congratulations on your TED Talk. I can't wait. Thank you. It's cool thing to come out. But yeah, I saw a snippet on your Instagram. And what a thing that stood out to me that you said is, I'm a human being, not a human doing. Yeah. Um, why did you say that? And also, where did that come from? Because you did, if you guys, if you want to watch the, the full snippet, go on Instagram because it was really like, whoa. I, I liked everything that you said. It was true. Why? Um, how come you um, said that? I feel like I feel like the reason why I had to say that is because of the fact that when people see Hayley Melinda, the first thing they're mm. gonna associate with speaking. So I remember even when um the song came out, and I was like, right, Hayley Melinda, the speaker. And I was like, What do you mean the speaker? We all speak. Like yeah. there's nothing, <laughs> do you know what I mean? It's like, mm. okay, and then I realized that I had built my brand identity in terms of what I do and not who I am. So yeah. I just felt like I had to break out of that box. And I think a lot of us at the end of the day, we do find a lot of our identity in the accomplishment, the accomplishments, the accolades. Like I remember when I first started speaking, because I was quite insecure, because I started speaking when I was around 17, 16. So you can imagine mm. I'm going into a really big game as a really small girl. And of course I was yeah. quite insecure. And every single time when I went into a room, I felt like I had to push my authority by first sharing my accolades. So I used to always introduce myself, hi, my name's Hayley Melinda, and I've spoken here, 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 and da 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 and da 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 Now I don't. Now it's just kind of like, I. It's normally the client or someone else is introducing me, and I just confirm, yeah, I've done this, I've done that, and I go straight into my message. Whereas before, yeah. I would spend like a, a good 10 minutes talking about everything I've accomplished, everything I'm doing, how I've gone to meet Jesus, how I've gone to part the Red Seas, how I've gone to yeah. talk about all types of accomplishments. And I found that at the end of the day, people don't get inspired by what you do. People get inspired by who you are because no one moves and no one gets touched more than great character. And I think when we, when in a world where everyone's like, oh, do the great things, um, have the great accomplishments, have the great accolades. No, be a great person. Because it's when you're first a great person, that is when you can really make the impact that you feel like you're called to make. So in that time where I said I'm a human being, let me refine who I am. Let me be a great person. Let me focus on making Haley great. And, you know, when Haley's great, then I can pour and do the things that I'm called to do with such excellence because the person itself is in an excellent place. Exactly. Exactly. Definitely. I definitely agree. Okay. Um. So I've watched a lot of your lives and I'm just I've been on your page and stuff, but I know that you. Wow, man, it. I appreciate it. I'm oh, glad you've been <laughs> doing your videos for you. No problem. So when I found out I was interviewing you, I was really excited. But yeah, I know that you always put um, you always put God in the center of it all, and you always say that it's important for you to do that. And why is it important for all of us in terms of our careers, everything that we do? Why, why is it important for us to put God in the center? Because what does it benefit a man to gain the whole world and lose his soul? Mm. That's that's what it is. You know, you can accomplish all these great things, but at the end of the day, I would rather be fulfilled than functioning. And there's a lot of people who are functioning. Just because your phone is functioning, the battery could be on 5%. Yeah. It's going to function at 5%, but it's not going to be fulfilled. It's not going to be running at the cap- the capability and the capacity it's meant to run. And I think that's yeah. how a lot of people are running. They're, they're still running, but the battery is on 5%. So for me, I want to basically motivate a lot of people to basically like be serious with just life, man. Life's too short. You know, life is definitely for the living. Yeah. So that's why I encourage people just to, you know, I don't push my faith 
onto people but I very much own my faith like this is a very big part of me and I hope I just inspire yeah. and encourage people to find more life in God and to know that Christ yeah. is is real and he's very much for you and you know God's a good God so yeah Amen. okay that's amazing okay just to wrap up um last yeah. thing I want to ask you is um from the stage to the studio it's a mini documentary that's coming out soon um describe the documentary in three words um authentic vulnerable captivating okay. yeah Lovely. have you got a date for it when it's coming out and anything like that so the first episode is literally has already dropped and the second episode is going to be dropping next week it was meant to drop a few okay. days ago but so many things have been happening so i'm dropping it basically partly partly and then basically okay. every song that i'm releasing is going to come with a documentary that comes with it so the next song that we've got in the studio we've got videographers and stuff like that so yeah you guys are gonna you're gonna enjoy it. you're gonna see it still okay we can't wait for the next song it was amazing amazing talking to you stay blessed thank you you're all room for you um yeah, okay would you. you like to me? no problem girl would you like to announce the song for the viewers to listen to all right, it's your girl Mala, and you are about to listen to Prosper. Inject it, take it in, make sure you stream it everywhere. Mala, Prosper, let's go. Roll me, gone Prosper. Right. Enjoy it. Thank Making moves whilst them man talk best at debt and done this. Sometimes lobster, sometimes Dixie. Us boss man for the chicken and chips. Bando went gritty, us Nissy roll with the power, she's doing bits. And I rock with the girls who are on one, don't waste time cause it's on their wrist. Hey, we slay CDB, that's my sis. And fees on the west side, blowing up fast, blowing up quick. And no moves hungry, everyone's fed, everyone's lit. And we're eating real healthy, be careful, flow will get you real sick. No, me gon' prosper, and I'll cover the bills, it won't cost ya. Cause sometimes I eat Dixie, and sometimes I eat lobster. If it's business, then holla, top score a DDA dropper. Thanking the Lord and thanking the Father, I think I should stop, I'm about to go harder. Life's too short for the tear, bust joke, bust my round here, we bust straight laughter. Yes, I'm a girl who can do both, wear tracksuits and heels for the business partners. Last year is Melinda Gates, next year I'll try and shout the Obamas. Sipping shout to them starters, not working hard, working smarter. Got to come with that clean energy, get me pumped to where is my charger. I roll medium or faster, I'm not lying, ask me faster. Hey, la la la. And I cover the bills, it won't cost ya Cause sometimes I eat Dixie And sometimes I eat lobster If it's business, then holla Top score a DDA drug bar la, 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 la. So I have me a full key, so my grind is very different, B. And I live in a block, but sometimes I eat my meals in Paris. You can catch me in ends, I'm local, but I do move globally. Get paid for my words, invoice came true, gotta pay that VAT. And I can't take credit for the glow up, cause a blow up is down to his grace. If you don't know me, just hop on your phone and babe, just Google my name. Don't need no hat when a Tesla pick me up, or it might be a range. And I invest in a stock, but I don't wanna buy that stock if it won't bring me gains. I know me, gon' prosper, and I cover the bills, it won't cost ya. Cause sometimes I eat Dixie and sometimes I eat lobster. If it's business, then holla. Top score is DDA drop us. La, 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 la. No, me, gon' prosper. I don't cover the bills, it won't cost ya. Cause sometimes I eat Dixie and sometimes I eat lobster. If it's business, then holla. Top score is DDA drop us. La, 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 la. Do the moolah, oh, do the moolah, oh. I get a moolah. So that was Prosper by Mula. However, she says her name. She says her name in such an amazing way. Um, thank you so much, girl. For, for coming on. It was an amazing, amazing interview, guys. Make sure you check out Mula. Um, the first one, that was a video, doing amazing. Okay, next up, we have Ida Hams, all the way from Nigeria. He's gonna be live with us talking about his new song, Man on Fire, featuring Fowls. And yeah, we're gonna have a chit chat. But yeah, here is Ida Hams. Hi. Hello. 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 Hi. Hi. 
I'm good. Hope you can hear me clearly. Yeah, yeah, I can hear you clearly. How you doing? I'm good. I'm, I'm good. I'm fine. And you? Yeah, I'm good. Thank you. I'm good. How is it? How is it in Nigeria? I know that like, it's really hot out there. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, it's fine. You're good. You're good. That's good. That's good. That's good. So, Ida Hams, is that how you say your name? Yeah, Ida Hams. Yeah, Ida Hams. Yeah. Okay. So, you're a singer, songwriter, and a record producer, aren't you? Yeah. Okay, that's good. So, yeah, I wanted to talk about your new song with Styles called Man on Fire. Um, what was the inspo behind the video? Because I also watched the video, it really good, I really enjoyed it. What was the inspiration behind it? Okay, the song is, uh, um, you know, this is a remix of the Man of Fire song. I mean. The song yeah. is just talking about telling people that someone can actually make it without, you know, going the other way. And, you know, people can be legit, legit rich. It doesn't have to be the shortcut or the, you know, whatever misconceptions yeah. you're having about you know, their wealth or their success. And, you know, um, I'm just telling people to just mind their business, mind, you know, what they think about people's, um, what's it called, success, people's, um, um, uh, what's it called, uh, winnings. Um, yeah. And again, I, I talked about, um, I thought about the police harassment and you know, police and brutality as well, because I may mean, have been a victim, especially in Lagos, and you know. So I was telling, you know, telling the world and telling my clients, especially, to you know, always drink water and mind their business regardless. Yeah. Okay, okay, that's that's a good that's a good song. I really like it. Um, I want to talk about uh, your other song called Kima. Did I pronounce it? Kima. Um, yeah, I want to talk about yeah, that. Yeah. What, is it, yeah. what does it mean? Shima is, um, is a slang for a beautiful girl. Is a slang for um, a girl that knows what's up. As in, a G, like someone that someone you care about, someone you love, and you know, like you ride, you you ride or die. You know, someone that you can actually go all the way for, like all out for. And she can actually do something for Oh, okay, that's cool. Have you found someone that you can go all the way for? <laughs> do you want me to? Yeah, is there anyone? Do you want me to answer that? Do you want me to answer yeah, that? Yeah, do you want me to? <laughs> okay, so we're... Can we just leave that for another day? What? For another day, okay. Mm -hmm. And to mind my business and drink my water. Okay, I'm cool. Um, so what have you been up to? Any new projects, any new shows? Like what's coming, anything new for me? Yeah, I just I just dropped my um deluxe version of my eating the man of fair EP, the deluxe version and you know, I added about three songs on it. Yeah. And the title of three songs are Bele, Godwin and the man of fire and mix and um you know basically that's that's what we're pushing right now so it's been, it's been, it's been massive the video of man of fire is out of the way on youtube uh the song my my ep deluxe is out as well on our platform so that's what we're pushing yeah okay okay that's cool so i know that you do um living room sessions so basically your two sticks you're singing live with your band and stuff what was the inspiration behind doing living room Sessions. So, so, I, 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 I didn't. I didn't get that. Yeah, I so said that um on your YouTube channel you release living room sessions. So basically, you and a band basically just vibe and singing along. What was the inspo behind living room sessions? Okay. Um. You know, I I I just um sat down with my team and felt that okay since we, um february is a uh, is a love month so yeah and i have a couple of songs that you know mm -hmm. that, that talks about love relationship and all you know like that so i just felt okay um since we are we're getting to valentine and it's a love season why don't i just do uh it's a, a house kind of you know vibe recordings and all that where you know my Take, taking my fans back to 
you know, the songs I've released that have to do with love. Yeah. You know, it's just like um, a medley of a medley of my songs, like my love songs, not just uh my other songs. Love basically, love songs basically. So it's just a medley. You know, so I, I get taking my fans back to the previous songs that I've dropped, you know, you know, that's it. Okay, that's that's good, that's amazing. So I know that you've worked with the likes of um, Duncan Mikey, Danny Boy, Mr. TK, which are all amazing artists. Um, what other artists would you be willing to work with in the future? What about what? Sorry. I said, what, what other artists would, would you want to work with in the future? Because you've worked with a lot so far. Okay, what are, okay, okay. Of course, uh, of course, um, I want to work with um, Whiskey. I love Whiskey. I want to work with Bonaboy. I want to work with David O. Um, yeah. I want to work with Drake. I want to yeah. work with Chris Brown. I want to work with The Weeknd. Like, so many of them. Yeah. But as, as we proceed, as, as we become successful, as we take um, to the middle and next level, of course, all these things are going to actually you know, come true. Okay, that, that's amazing. That's amazing. Um, so yeah, lastly, I wanted to ask you, what's the biggest lesson you've learned so far in your career? Biggest lessons I've learned. <laughs> I think so. It's to listen at me. Listen. At listen. Yeah. At me. Listen. At me. Uh, because okay, um, a, a whole lot, a whole lot of people or persons, uh, they just, they just hear people talk. They don't, they don't listen. Yeah, I've, no. <laughs> I've, I've had, I've had, I've had, I've had experiences. Uh, uh, like a friend of mine that, you know, that his dad was trying to talk, 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 talk to him, talk to him about something very important, very stressful. But I was there when his dad was talking, you know. Uh, what he was telling him, but I, I felt that he was listening to his dad, but I never knew that he was still going to go contrary to what his dad was telling him. And I, after his dad, his dad finished talking to him, I still had to talk to him, bro, man. But that is just about this thing, don't do this. I thought he listened to me, but I didn't know that he went back and yeah. did that stuff. Right? He almost took his life, oh, wow. he almost took his life. But thank God he's alive today. But he's alive today, but he's not hundred percent all right. So that that alone, I, I I had to just put that in my in my head that you know when someone tries to talk to you about something, you just have to listen. Regardless whoever the person is, whether that big or small, you just have to listen. The person might not be as rich as you are, or or as good looking as you are, but that word that's coming from his mouth is wisdom. And it can save you from a whole lot. So all you have to do is just to listen. So yeah. Okay. So for those at home, make sure you listen. Listen. <laughs> thing. Okay, okay, that's amazing. That's amazing. So it's amazing talking to you. Um, do you have a freestyle for us by any chance before you leave? Yeah, I'll just play um the newest, which is Man of Fire Remix. I'm just right to it. Okay, yeah, go, go for it. I think you're already ready. Did you say? I'm ready. Yeah, I'm ready. Let's go. Let's go. What's this? What's this one called? <laughs> Hey, hey, hey. Right. If you get too much, then go say you the threat. If you find too much, then go say you begin. And if you also know, then go say you the threat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you find too much, then go say you do just one. But you know, say talk is cheap. You know, say my must talk. I know they listen, you know. Hey, hey, hey. Them hey. know they pay my bills. But you know, say, stop it, cheap. 
You know, say my must Hey, I know they listen. They know they play like this. Oh, I drink for time and business. Oh, it's a it's not for me. Yeah, I come drink for time. Whoa, oh, hey. I mind your business. Is that energy for yourself? Yeah, come drink my mouth. Hey, fast. Make a thing. See, don't say my name. I don't something to talk about. Eh, eh. Ah. Hey, can I be more Christian than you? I wonder. Will you die? Hey. I drink for time in my business, so that's my security. Yeah, I'm my fire. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ah, for time, mind your business. Is that energy for yourself? Yeah, I'm consuming my fire. See, that's so this is baby. When they hustle, them know they see. When I want one place, them go, they see. Ah, them go to Sacro, they get lost. I said, thank you for my party. Because they get it too much money. But I they not say you too lazy. See, and the children do oversee. Ah, when they pull that to the hero, them go stop it for all the sale. Anything for the boys, anything for the boys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When them see for club, oh. Them stones start to bubble, them go start to arrasso. If you get too much, them go say you do. Then for time and your business, is that energy for yourself? Yeah, comes in man of fire. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, that was in your hands, man of fire, for two thousand. Video out now, we can check it out. Thank you so much for speaking to me. Where can people follow you? Thank, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. It was, I, I had so much fun. I had so much fun. So very much fun. <laughs> no yeah, so can people follow you on Instagram? Okay, yeah, my friends, um, everybody you can, you can reach out to me. You can connect to me on my social. On Instagram, official the hands. On my Twitter, official the hands. My Facebook page, official the hands. So official the hands everywhere. It has is spelled. I D A H A M X S for school. So come to my dream, reach out to me, whatever thing you want to talk to me about. You know, let's just let just vibe, let's just interact. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know what's up. Okay, no make sure you guys follow him and check out his new music video, Man of Fire. Files. Thank you so much for speaking to me. Um, yeah, so that was Ida Hams. Um, he literally just performed his song Man on Fire featuring Files. But yeah, guys. We've come to the end of the show unfortunately i've had so much fun um my name is nia ray make sure you follow me on all social platforms follow me on instagram underscore it's nia hopefully you enjoyed the show and oh yeah we'll be back next week but yeah that's it for me hope you enjoyed the guests we had king kimputu we had the mola we had mula and we also had idahan it's been an amazing jam pack show and yeah, we're here, same time, place, next week. Yeah, this has been the magazine show. So I'm going to leave the show with a song called See Finish by Dapo to Bernard. Enjoy your evening, guys. Bye. Chakarado endo. Bye. Go, go, go. Dapo to Bernard, yeah, yeah. You don't the car ask Your fine face no matter again Shakara do endo Aye. Before, before now you the hot Living la vida loca Money don't finish, you remember Shakara do endo Aye. Don't let them see you finish Then go finish your biscuits Then go finish your sweet Shakara do endo Aye. Don't let them see you finish Finish your biscuit, then 
Tango, finish your sweet Shakara do endo Like a tobale, to le ja, to the young only broke any goddamn time. You know, say before, before, no be property. You don't blow before, no be celebrity. I say, make with a picture, you call security. Now, Chakara don't handle. So, no let them see you finish. Then go finish your biscuits. Then go finish your sweets. When Chakara don't handle, say, no let them see you finish. Then go finish your biscuits. Then go break all your sleep When Sakara don't end Then go finish your sweet Shakara do endo